You want to know what the most powerful and most accurate keyword search tool is within the Amazon FBA industry? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down how to use that tool to optimize your PPC campaigns, your listings, title, and description, and also to know whether or not a product is too competitive or not. So stay tuned. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Trevin Peterson. I'm a multiple six-figure Amazon seller and I'm super excited about today's video because we are going to be breaking down the most powerful and most accurate Amazon FBA keyword search tool in the entire industry. So if you guys are looking to optimize your PPC campaigns, your listings, title and description, your backend search terms, this is going to be the perfect video because I'm going to show you how we can find new keywords that you guys aren't using to drive more traffic and get more sales for your Amazon FBA business. But before we dive into the video, I want to dive into my seller account and show you guys that I'm a current Amazon FBA seller. This is what I do full time. This is what I love. This is what I'm passionate about. And the reason why I show you is so that you guys know that you're learning from someone that is in the trenches with you, facing the same problems that you guys are facing. Okay, so let's go into my seller account and you guys are actually going to see a big problem that I had with my Amazon FBA business. And that is why we have this channel is so that you guys can learn from my mistakes so that you guys don't have to make the same ones that I am making, okay? So I'm going to re refresh the page right here. Let's see if it focuses. Just refreshed and I'm just at $25,000 in the last 30 days, but as you can see, I've had a huge dip and it's slowly growing and going back. But I ran out of stock and that was the biggest mistake of all. And I just want you guys to learn from my mistakes. And I'm not perfect, but I have found a lot of success with Amazon. And that is why I have this channel and that is why I want to help you. So this is what I do full time and I hope that you guys enjoy this video and really take advantage of this most powerful and accurate keyword search tool. So we'll see you inside. All right, so here we are inside the best Amazon FBA keyword research tool out on the market. It's called Magnet 2 by Helium 10. And if you guys do not have that yet, then go to helium10.com or you can click click the link down below. You're gonna create a free account. It's gonna look like this. You're going to go to plan details and you'll see the different plans and you can pick the individual plans, the each individual service. So for example, Magnet 2, um, it's going to be 1850 uh, for the first month. So I have a 50% coupon code that you guys can use, which is AMZ Champions 50. You're gonna get 50% off. Um, for this plan or you can get the platinum plan which comes with every single tool that I'm going to be talking about um, in my last video I talked about black box and x-ray and this coming week I'm going to be talking a lot about magnet and cerebro okay so um, you can get the platinum plan which comes with everything but for this particular video we're just going to be using magnet 2 and if you get that that's going to be 1850 for this first month okay so make sure you take advantage of that coupon code um, but let's go back to the magnet tool, uh, magnet two keyword research tool. Okay, so basically, what you're going to do is if you have a product in mind that you're looking to sell or that you're selling and you're looking to optimize the listing, optimize your PPC campaigns, you're going to search the main keyword. Um, that you're trying to rank for or just the main keyword of your product. Okay, so for this example, I'm going to be using scrunchies. And I'm going to uh, search and it's going to do a ton of things and this is why I love this tool so much okay so first right here it shows the exact search for the word scrunchies the exact volume it has broad volume which doesn't really matter um, and then competing products okay so right here the exact volume is super important and this is why this tool is so awesome is because this tool pulls all the data from Amazon directly. They aren't pulling from other datas um, like Google and other services. This is the exact search volume, so this is super accurate, and that's why I really like it because you're not guessing. This is how many times this word is searched on Amazon, okay? So that's why I really like it. It gives you the exact. It also shows a broad volume, which doesn't really matter. And then it also, which is kind of cool, shows you competing products. So it shows you how many competing products are trying to sell 
something similar to a scrunchie, okay? So that's cool, and then it has the top products, and you can click on this, and uh, it will open in Cerebro, which we'll talk about later. But basically, Cerebro is the exact opposite of Magnet. It does a reverse ASIN, a reverse ASIN check, so it's going to pull all the different keywords that are tied to that specific ASIN, where Magnet is going to pull all of the keywords within the Amazon database. So that's the two differences between the, the two tools. They're super powerful. I'm going to be talking about both, but this one is Magnet 2. Then it also talks about word frequency. So it's going to show you how many times each of these words is shown up in uh, the keywords down below. So that's it also gives you other ideas. And right down here is where the just all the information that you need you'll ever need in terms of a keyword search tool. Alright, so down here as you can see there's some different filters. It shows you the total keywords that are related to scrunchie. So there's 723. You can sort by and you can filter out a uh, phrase A to Z. Um, highs to low. You can also go right here and search each individual basically filter from highest to lowest. So the largest number of search volume to the smallest. Um, you can also go to word count. So right here the minimum is one and let's go to max three um, and we can hit apply and that will filter this total keywords down to 525. So it got rid of um, like 200. Then we can also go over here and we can do competing products, so minimum, let's go minimum one to max, let's say, I mean right here, competing products for this particular um, keyword is 10,000, so let's go to uh, 2,000 competing products, okay? So this is just going to filter it down and help us find some keywords that we want to throw in our list in our listing, in the description, in our PPC cam campaigns, and I mean the list goes on with what um, the options are to do with the information that this uh, keyword search tool provides. So that's why I love it. You can customize it completely. That narrows it down to 358. So now we are working with 358 keywords instead of 700, 725. Okay, so then we can go right here and we can click on exact phrase search volume. And this is going to pull up um, basically, as you can see, the highest number to the lowest. Okay, so you can um, look at that and you see the competing products. So this is less than 2,000. The Magnet IQ score is 9,000. So the higher or bigger the number this is, the better the keyword is. And basically how it calculates that is it looks at the phrase, um, search volume, and the competing pro products. Um, and then there's an algorithm that provides the Magnet IQ score. So that's something that you can look at. So maybe this is a keyword that you want to throw in um, your uh, description in your PPC campaigns or whatever the case may be and let's go and filter from the Magnet IQ score. Um, this is going to filter it from the largest to the smallest and Lululemon scrunchies this is something that you uh, probably can't because it's a brand but you're just going to scroll through and right here scrunchie set so this is probably a perfect keyword if you're selling a set of scrunchies this is a perfect keyword to try to rank for because 286 people are searching it every single month and there's only 16 competing products okay so that's going to be a fairly inexpensive product to rank for your PPC campaigns okay so this is basically giving you um, some keyword ideas to put in your PPC campaigns and also to help you optimize your listing, your title, and your description and your backend search terms, okay? So this tool can literally be used for everything um, from A to Z and you can keep going through and so maybe you want to use that one, you take a note of that, you have scrunchy hair ties, so this is uh, misspelled. So 190 people every single month are misspelling scrunchy hair ties. Um, and I mean the list goes on. I mean right here. This is another misspelling. This is Selva instead of velvet scrunchies. There's another keyword. So you're basically finding oh another one is scrum with a B. I mean some people just misspell words and that's what you want to do is you want to capitalize on these keywords that other people aren't using. So that's why it's so powerful and this is how it's going to help you rank your products for keywords other people are not using and it's going to be fairly inexpensive and easy to rank because the competition isn't super crazy high, okay? So that's what you're going to look at 
And to make it easier, um, if you have the Platinum uh, plan, which comes with Frankenstein, so right here, as you can see, within the Platinum plan, it comes with Frankenstein. And Frankenstein is super powerful. It just makes it a little bit more simple. So you can basically export it directly to Frankenstein. And if you don't, you would export it to an Excel or CSV file, and you're going to go filter through and find all the duplicates. But you can just do it directly to Frankenstein and get rid of all the duplicates as well. Um, instead of working with um, 813 words, you're going to basically remove the duplicates, um, convert to lowercase, you're going to remove common words like the, then, just common words that you probably don't want to rank for, and then remove single uh, letters as well. And then once you do that, you're going to go and hit process, and then it's going to narrow down to even less. So now we're at 226 words from 813. So this is a little bit more manageable of a list to work with instead of going through and looking at 813. So then you can copy and paste these and go through it and basically look at what keywords you want to put in your listing, in your description, your PPC campaigns. You can basically go through and just try different words, okay? So that's the best thing to do in terms of PPC campaigns is you're just going to have to try a keyword, see how it performs, and if it doesn't perform well, then you change it out. And you can put hundreds of different keywords in your PPC campaigns, and you just need to optimize them. And once you find these keywords, your sales are going to go up and go through the roof because you're finding keywords other people are not finding. So that's why this tool is so powerful and I would highly recommend it to um, optimize your title, uh, make sure that you have the best keywords in your description within the bullet points and also your backend search terms. Okay, So that's how powerful this tool can be. Um, and then you can also convert it to the Frankenstein and get rid of duplicates. But if you don't, like I said, you just export it to a CSV file. So let's go back to Magnin and I, we can even filter it a little bit more. And I mean, the list goes on with different things that you can look at. So if this is too many keywords, you can add some more filters. So the Magnin IQ score, you can put a minimum and a maximum and drop that. So competing products, we, instead of having 2,000, maybe we want to find keywords that no one is competing for so it's a little bit cheaper for us to rank okay so that drops is not down much let's drop it down to 500 see if it drops us down even more so now we're working with 217 keywords okay so that's what you're going to want to do is find these different keywords that people are not using for example scrunchy set um, the misspelling. There's also going to sometimes be words in Spanish that you can capitalize on. So I really love this tool and I hope that you guys take advantage of it. Um, go to Helium 10, make sure that you get the Magnet 2, the Magnet 2 um, keyword search tool and you're going to get the exact search volumes. There's no guesswork. You're going to get all the information and more that you need to make sure that you're listing as as optimized as it can be. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and really take advantage of this Helium 10 tool. It's super powerful and it's going to help you guys rank your products for keywords that you would have never even thought of in a million years. Okay, So that's why it's so powerful and like I said I'm also going to be dropping more videos um, on tutorials with Helium 10 because they have so many different powerful tools. For example, Cerebro, which is literally the exact opposite as what the Magnet tool does. So instead of doing a reverse Amazon check, it's going to do a reverse ASIN check for keywords. So you basically can look up your competition, see what keywords they're using, and you can go in and basically target and try to rank for the keywords that your competitors are ranking for. So this is a super powerful tool and I would highly recommend it. And I just want to say thanks for watching. And if you guys have any other questions, feel free to join the Facebook group. It's completely free. It's I'll leave the link down below. Um, you guys can ask any questions there. You can leave a comment. If you guys have future videos that you would like me to do, um, you can message me on Instagram. It's at trevin.peterson. Um, feel free to ask me any questions um, in regards to Amazon FBA. Okay, That's my goal is to help as many people as I can. And I really hope that you guys 
take this information and go and apply it. Okay, that's the most important thing that you can do is take action. So thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, go down, subscribe, and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And also, don't forget to leave a comment. So thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.